Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a podcast in GarageBand. Uh, right now I have GarageBand open, but I'm going to start fresh. So let me go up to File, New, and I'm going to start a new podcast. It's going to ask me to give it a name. So I'm going to do Test Podcast here, and I'm going to pick a place where I want to save it. And then I'm going to hit Create. And then GarageBand comes up. When GarageBand first comes up, you're going to see that you have um, a podcast track that's selected, also a male voice track, a female voice track, and a jingles track. This is known as your timeline area here in the middle. And down here is a little bit more advanced features. I'm going to turn this bottom layer off here by clicking the thing that looks like a little bit like scissors down here in the bottom left. So that's gone. Okay, now if this is your first time setting up a podcast, we need to make sure that your microphone is hooked up. Uh, and the easy way to do that is to just go up to the top here where it says GarageBand and go to Preferences. And then the general box comes up. The general box pops up with different tabs that have general, audio, MIDI, loops, advanced, my info. We're going to click audio MIDI and you should be able to find your microphone in the audio input area with all the choices that audio input gives you. So choose your microphone and that's it. If you're doing this for the first time, it might ask you if you want to install the drivers for that. Uh, just click yes and continue on. Okay, now that our microphone is hooked up and working, uh, now we can start to get into the recording process. Uh, depending on if you're male or female, uh, choose the appropriate track. And what we're looking for is we're looking at these meters right here on the uh, right hand side of this track. You can see my voice is being picked up by the microphone. I can see the little bars going, the green bars that are indicating the levels of the microphone. So I know that the microphone is being picked up in this track. If for some reason you don't see any bars when you're talking into the microphone, it might be because you have this red button unchecked. It enables and disables recording. We want to enable recording, so you have to make sure that the red circle is actually red and not gray. So click it until it's red. And then you should be able to see your microphone. Now, um, it's time to record. So we're going to move on down to the bottom area of GarageBand. And we're going to see that we have a record button, this big red circle here. We also have uh, beginning of the song, move back a measure, move ahead a measure, play and loop in a loop cycle. That means it will play over and over again. Uh, right now we just need to focus on this red record circle and when we do that uh, all we need to do is click it and once we click it you're going to see your track extending behind this red playhead and it, you're also going to see a waveform of your voice being recorded. Uh, once you get done uh, making your recording all you need to do is click the record button again and it does continue to keep playing, so make sure you click the blue play button as well to keep this playhead from uh, playing to the end. Now we have our track here, and mine is zoomed in a bit, so here's the whole entire track. And if I hit play, I should be able to, I can hear my voice, um, I, so I know that uh, the recording took effect. Uh, now, if you look down here on the left-hand side underneath the tracks area, you will notice that you have a bar here that zooms in or zooms out of the track. And that is how you will create a recording in GarageBand. Next step, I'll show you how to edit this track.